Hello everyone, this is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In today's tutorial video, I will show you how to automatically segment the teeth from the CT scan with a single click. To be able to achieve a result as we see now on the screen, where each tooth is segmented from the CT scan exists as its own STL file, and all of this can be done with a single click at no extra charge. Completely automatic CT tooth segmentation is an advanced technique in dental imaging that uses AI algorithms to automatically segment teeth from CT scans without the need for manual intervention. By providing full and complete visibility of all teeth and their roots, this technology streamlines the treatment planning process, reduces the potential for error, and improves the efficiency of dental treatments. For example, Users can create accurate and precise treatment plans by planning dental implants to be placed proper distances from adjacent roots and placed in parallel to adjacent roots, planning with greater efficiency, leading to better outcomes for patients. So the fully automatic CT tooth segmentation functionality exists in the Model Master module. This module, of course, for those of you who are familiar is also accessible on the way to designing a surgical guide. So you could access this functionality either simply by clicking Model Master and going into the Model Master module, or as I'll demonstrate it now, I'll click on Implant Planning and Surgical Guides. I'm going to proceed by clicking on Import Patient CT Scan, and then navigating to the DICOM files that I want to load into the case, select them, and click OK. Select the relevant series and click OK. So at this point, as you are all probably familiar, we're going to define the field of view simply by grabbing and dragging the borders and dragging them inwards to define the field of view. Since we're going to be segmenting the teeth from the CT scan, then in the field of view, we're going to include the relevant teeth. Click on OK. Let's go ahead and load the model. We'll see it for comparative purposes. Although, of course, just to segment the teeth from the CT, there's no model required. But I'll go ahead and select my model. Click on OK. Select Mandible. And I'll have the model loaded into the case. OK, the automatic alignment of the model to the CT scan is completed. I'll go ahead over the surfaces, and for now, I will just hide the model. Now, segmenting the teeth, as we saw earlier from the CT scan, is literally a click of a button. Go over to the segmentation panel, make sure you have automatic tooth segmentation selected, and click Create STL Surfaces for All Teeth. Now, the software will run. It will take a minute or two, and as it runs, we'll see the relevant tooth and the relevant teeth changing colors indicating that segmentation for that tooth has been done. By the way, this is a machine learning, deep learning functionality. So if you do an encounter a case that for whatever reason does not segment properly or there's any sort of issue with the roots or whatever, then please help. Help by simply sending the case to us via plan at blueskybio.com will be able to use that case to help reteach and improve the software to benefit you and everybody else using the Blue Sky Plan software. I'll keep this running in real time just so we see exactly how long it really does take to segment all the teeth from the CT scan. So I'm using now a laptop that's probably around two years old. It does have a good amount of, of RAM on it. It does have a good processor. It's not uh, brand spanking new, um, but it's a pretty relatively powerful laptop. And we see how the software is performing here. We're almost done with the segmentation. Okay, so that's it. We could take a look 
Let's turn off the CT scan a second. And again, we have gotten these results completely automatically, segmented completely automatically by the software. Each tooth now exists as its own STL file in the surfaces panel. So now, once the implant is placed, we have full visibility of the implant in relation to the adjacent teeth. Of course, we can make sure that the implant is not colliding with the adjacent teeth. We can also view the angulation of the implant in relation to the angle of the roots of the adjacent teeth. And while, of course, we have this fantastic view in the 3D, we could also use the outlines of the segmented teeth in our 2D views. For example, here, and we go ahead and toggle off our outlines of the curves right here. And as we go through our axial slices, we could see the implant, of course, in relation to the adjacent teeth. We could see something similar as well in our 360 tangential view in the top right view over here, as we could see the implant in relation to the outlines of the completely segmented teeth. Now, just for comparison purposes, I've activated the outline of the segmented teeth as well as the outline of the model itself. And if we take a look in our axial view, we could see that the green is the model and the other colors are the outline of the segmented CT teeth. So we could see the level of the accuracy of the segmented CT teeth. In addition, If we run around the arch and we take a look in our cross-section view, we could see, again, the accuracy between the segmented CT tooth and the model and the model itself. Just to mention, Blue Sky Bio is literally giving away free surgical guides, includes digital plan and surgical guide fabrication. If you haven't yet heard about this offer, go to blueskyplan.com forward slash free guides. This is for Blue Sky Bio implant cases for a one implant surgical guide.